All right, my favorite fluorocarbon knot. This is the knot I use if I tie a piece of fluorocarbon fishing line to anything. This is a knot I use. And this knot is, was shown to me by a good friend of mine, and he told me it was a San Diego jam knot, but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. But I will tell you this, it's an extremely strong knot if you use a fluorocarbon line. I've been using it now for about 15 years, and it does not break. So here we go. All we're going to do is double our line. This is 20 pound test, high seas. I'm just going to double it, make a little circle, go through the eye of the hook. Now, I'm going to take that, and this is my tag line, this is my main line. I'm going to hold them together. I'm going to go around it three times. Two, three. Okay? Now, all I'm doing is taking it where I doubled it and putting it back through the circle at the eye of the hook. And that's it. That's it. So you'll see now you got actually three pieces you have to cut off. This is your main tag, and this is that loop. So what I think makes this not so good, and what I've always liked about it, is you actually have these two little tag ends right here that are in between your true knot and your hook eye. So it doesn't wear. You know, as, as it moves around, you've kind of got a buffer there, and your line is also doubled through the eye of the hook. Now, something else I'm going to show you that a lot of people probably haven't ever showed you, and I just want you to think about this. When I cut my knots off, okay, I don't like a pair of a real sharp scissors. All right? You see what I'm doing right here? See, I'm using these old rusted-up side cutters. I've had these about 20 years. You see how it frays the end of that line? Uh, it doesn't really fray it, but it makes it swell out. It's not just a smooth cut. Let me tell you what I like about this. If this knot has any slippage at all, when this right here reaches your knot, it's going to stop it. That's going to prevent your knot from ever slipping. All of my fishing line, with the exception of braid, when I tie a knot, I like to cut it with a pair of side cutters because it pinches that little wedge and it helps hold your knot together. So now that we've got our knot tied, we'll put us a brand new shank on our BKK shank. We're fixing to go fishing.